now we created this edge right here this edge and we will start extrude to create this part but first look at this I need to create this cube how to get this simply by getting rid of these three polygons let me change the polygon mode select these three I already select them and get rid of them by deleting them now let me change to edge view and let me select these two edges shift and drag them up now let me go to top view yeah and I change to vertex mode and I need to connect these two vertices actually I'm selecting the wrong vertices I need to target weld these vertices this one with this one and right here this one to this one and that's it uh, let me get back to see what we got now we need to cap this and we will do the same as we did we go to edge mode and let me select only this edge shift to drag it oops I need to go to top view so I can see better and right here I need to make this edge straight so let me change my selection by using control the vertex mode and use the scale the scale both of them like this and push them back then let me shift drag oops no let me change to edge mode select only this edge shift to drag to create this spot and let me get back to see what we have I need to adjust the edge upward like this and now I need to connect the vertices to make them one single piece so I change the vertex mode and here I have this I right click target weld to this that's it we closed it and we have this part right here that looks like the one we have in the uh, photo or the image we can adjust the height maybe we need to go to back view and I need to select this vertex and slightly and that to push this down like this and that to we always work gradually we change one and change the other with different degrees now I need to start extruding the edge to create this piece right here and I will stop at this point and then keep uh, extruding so I select this edge this one too no not this one I don't need this one right now I need it when I uh, finish and start connecting I use control for continuous selection and alt for the select and I repeated this every time so if you're new to the channel you can keep up now I need to shift to drag and then start working 
okay as you can see here we don't have the same look we need to have this control Z and I go to left view shift to drag on the X axis exactly that's what I need and right here I need to move these vertices let me go to top view I need to move these three or four vertices like this so I can have this wide space all this white space uh, not very wide like this and of course like we do every time we start gradually moving maybe I can check all of them drag them use alt to deselect and then push alt push alt push until we finish all of them and here this one needs to be pushed slightly and these need to be pushed like this okay so now I got my curved edge I need to do the same with the rest but if we check here we need to make this straight first so let me get back to back view and start working on these vertices I need to push these vertices forward let me make sure I'm not selecting anything funny I'm on the back view and I need to push this something like this I don't need this and let me now make them on a curvy have a curvy look Let me check. I need it to be curvy from here and go straight down. So this will go forward. And then let me select this group. Oops. Uh, let me make sure I'm activating ignore back facing so I can select this group. Oops, uh, because I'm in the back face, it doesn't work. Unfortunately, I have to select them one by one and then make sure I'm not selecting anything I don't need. I deselect this, I don't need this. Get back, the back view, and use the scale tool to make these even as much as we can we push them forward and 
S1 Mieć TV Post Backwards Ok So now I can start Modeling This part right here But first we need to create these two These two pieces And then continue So I will stop the video Continue extruding this part and then I will come back to you.